Praise the Lord, everyone. My name is Brother Mario. I am an apostolic Pentecostal. And if you're visiting my channel for the first time, welcome. I've missed your face. And even though we haven't personally met, I still want to know who you are. And your name is? Hey, nice to meet you. You seem like a cool cat. Well, in today's Daily Mop, we're going to be talking about what you clicked on. My clickbait title, Why I Left the Non-Denominational Church. Roll the clip. <laughs> Now, how I came up with this uh, title, you know, I was sitting there last night in my Bible study, I was talking to a family, and we were talking about all the different type of churches we went to before we discovered the Apostolic Pentecostal Church. And on top of what we talked about, I've seen so many videos connected to mine of people saying why I left the Apostolic Church, why I left the Pentecostal Church, they're fake, they're exposed, and all this garbage, honestly, of just a bunch of angry people who did not want it to adhere and anymore to the truth that we as a church preach to the people. I'm not surprised by this because Jesus said men love darkness more than the light. But I'm here today to inform you of what we believe and what is the main difference between an apostolic church and literally every other church that I've been to in the past 10 years, which is over like seven or eight churches. So as I was saying, we we're having a conversation there and everything was going great. And I started talking about, you know what the biggest difference is? The biggest thing that I saw between these churches and the apostolic church was one, these are feel-good churches. These are churches that are gonna teach about faith you know, got to have that. And they're going to teach about believing in a God and believing in his resurrection. And you got to have that and believe that Jesus died on the cross for all your sins. You got to have that and believe that your family is going to prosper and you're starting a generational blessing because you're choosing God. And because of that, you've got a nice place in heaven because you've just chosen to believe and have faith in God and work hard and take care of your family. And that's it. See, these are messages that people want to hear. They want to hear all the good things about being a Christian, or all the benefits that come to them. What's in it for me, okay, rather than what's in it for God. And the thing that I saw as I started slowly going more and more to the apostolic church is they preached against the biggest thing that us churches need to preach on, sin. See, sin is what destroys our lives. Sin is what gives us struggles in our lives. Do you realize the first sin with Adam and Eve and Cain and Abel and every generation after that has caused misery, sickness, disease, broken marriages, broken families because of one sin. I have to face that practically every minute, but that's the thing we really need to preach on. The majority of our life, we're gonna be involved in an issue called sanctification. All right, to sanctify ourselves, to be chosen as of God, because we are fighting the good fight all the way till the end, like we talked about, to fight against the one thing that's destroying us is the sin. Now, it's not a works salvation thing. I can't do enough good to get into heaven. I also can't avoid enough bad to get into heaven. But God has specifically said in his word through Paul, every single town and every single church that he visited against the sin, especially if we go to like Galatians 5, 19 through 21, he lists all the desires of the flesh. And he says, if you commit these continually and you don't deal with these sins, that you will not inherit the kingdom of God. And so many people are going to be surprised, like when Jesus told the men that many will come in my name and they will say, we said your name, Lord, Lord, and we did many mighty works. We cast a demon in your, in your name. And then Jesus will look at them and say, it's like I never knew you. Take away your false works out of my sight. That's the scary reality. But if we don't have more churches preaching against the sin, I, I used to not like it, but the more that I let the Holy Spirit lead me, man, I've just been in services crying, pound, oh God, I'm so sorry for everything I've done, Lord. Lord, please forgive me. Please work on the sin that I've had in my life, Jesus. Lord, I need you. Lord, please forgive me. Please let me repent of the sin and never do it again. Let me change my heart, my mind, my direction, and never commit this sin again. And man, I felt so good after that. I just thank God. God, thank you for your word that has pierced my heart. It's like a two-edged sword that pierces the hearts of men. Thank you so much for correcting me. I was going a little bit off the path of righteousness rather than the one that leads to you. And I'm so glad of that. And it's tough to swallow those messages, but they're the best messages for us. If you don't start listening to pastors that preach against the sin and you just want to listen to the good stuff that God has to offer you, mm, 
I'd be very, very careful. See, there will become a time when men have itching ears and they only want to listen to what they want to listen to. The matter of the fact is, sin is what destroys our life and we need more and more messages preaching against the sin. So that's why I left the non-denominational church and joined the mighty, good old apostolic Pentecostal, one God believe in, baptized in Jesus' name, speaking with the tongues, receiving the Holy Spirit, maintaining holiness internally, externally, church, which I love dearly so much, and I'm dedicating this YouTube channel to preaching that true message. Whoo, man. So with all that being said, thank you all for watching. But before you leave, I want you to do four things for me. One, like this video if it brought value to you. Two, make sure you leave a comment below. I want to know what churches you're going to. Tell me what you all believe. Tell me and answer this one question for me. How does one get into heaven? Three, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And four, make sure you hit that bell notification so you know every time I upload a brand new video. Thank you all for watching. My name is Brother Mario. God bless you.